And we're back. So we're going to go into this cave here. We need to fight our way through. And we need to kill a boss at the end of this cave. It's not, well, it is a boss. It's a bigger trog. And we also need to blow this cave up. So we're going to have fun with that. Uh, most caves in game are going to be pretty much the same between one another, especially in earlier content. In Legion content, you start to get caves that are different, but also in Legion content, you don't really go into caves as often as you do in earlier content, such as this cave. There are like seven or eight caves in the overworld that are almost identical to this, just reskinnings of this. <laughs> and as you can see, again, the important one that we need to kill is highlighted. So you can see it really easily, so you know what you need to kill. Simple enough. And the thing you need to blow up is highlighted. So just right click or left click it. I prefer right clicking. But you can do whatever you want. And as we all know, cool guys don't look at explosions. And now we gotta fight our way back out. Sometimes when you see sleeping enemies, you can just walk past them. Sometimes you accidentally wake them up. If you wake them up, they'll start attacking you. Because who wouldn't start attacking you once you woke them up? But they can usually sleep through quite a bit. <laughs> Oh, I ran out of focus. So as you can see, when I'm hitting one, it's not uh, casting the attack because I don't have enough focus. So I need to wait for my focus to regenerate, and then I can actually cast the attack. But until then, I cannot. And we're back out of that tunnel. Cave. Whatever. Thing. Cool. And we'll talk to Jesse McCree. And he'll give us a belt. So let's go and equip it. Normally, to equip things, you just right-click them. You can also, if you really want to, and this is normally important for, like, uh, if you're dual-wielding or if you have trinkets or rings, you can drag it onto the correct slot. But right-clicking normally solves the job. Um, when you're walking between places, you're normally going to want to stay on the path. Reason being that wandering enemies are a lot less likely to run into you while you're on the path. So it's just going to be easier for you, um, especially at higher levels when things can dismount you and then you have to kill them to mount back up. Yeah. Gonna speed up until I get back. And we're back. All right, make a torque. Turn this in. Cool. And again, pick up both quests. Make sure you don't miss this one. You too, Mr. Gnome. And we're going to head on off. This one is also quite a walk, so speeding up. And we're back. So, this quest is, well, two quests. We have to kill technicians and blow up tanks. So let's get started. And I guess I can talk about a couple other uh, pages while we're here. Um, one of the pages, excuse you, one of the pages is we just went over spellbook and abilities. You can click it with that book down there, or again, you can open it with P. Um, we can't do talents yet because we're not level 10. And then you got achievements, which I believe the default for that is Y, but I have Y bound to auto run. You open it by clicking that shield there. And these are all of the achievements you can do. I don't have that many achievements done. Um, let's see what else. Quest log, you can click that exclamation point down there or you can open it with L. Um, guild finder, we'll get into guilds later when I actually find a guild. But for now you can click it with that or you can open it with J. Again, when I actually get into a guild, I will 
get more in depth into that. And then collections, you can click on this horse down here, or you can open it with Shift P. And you have five different collections in here. You have mounts, battle pets, toys, heirlooms, and appearances. I'll talk about all of these more in depth later. Uh, mounts, probably gonna get to, well, recording day. The same recording day, but not the same uh, air day. I guess you still call it airing. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, pet journal, that's gonna be a little ways down the line, or it could be within the next two seconds. I don't know. That's gonna be whenever I find a battle pet that I don't have, I'll talk about it. Toy box, um, there are a bunch of things that you can get in game that are mainly things that you can play around with. So, like, I'm gonna click on this tiny set of war glaives. And I got a little demon hunter bird sitting on my head now. His name is Pepe. Yeah, that's cool. You can find those all in game. Some, t some of them you have to buy. Some of them are achievement based. You find a bunch of them in game. They're just fun to use. Some of them are annoying. Not for you, but for other players. Uh, heirlooms. You're not going to get to that unless you have a high level character. These are um, items that are kind of expensive. They're really expensive for low level players. I think they're 500 gold minimum. 500 gold for armor, 750 gold for weapons, I think. And then it's 1,000 gold to upgrade at one level, 2,000 for another, and then I think it's 5,000 for the third level. Um, so yeah, they're too expensive for new players, but they're shared amongst all of your characters, no matter the level. So if I were to buy it on an upgrade on my Demon Hunter, who has enough money to buy an upgrade, it would also upgrade to my... Uh, Hunter here, so if I were to upgrade this, which is only upgrade 2 of 3, if I were to upgrade it to 3 of 3, then it would upgrade on my character. But I would have to do that on my Demon Hunter. And then appearances we'll get to in a little while. I think I just accepted that. Yeah, I just accepted that. Wow. Okay, cool. And we're going to run to this one because I think it's a, yep, it's quite a waste. So I'm going to speed up. And we're back yet again. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to turn in the quest. As you can see, most of leveling is just the same process. Get the quest, do the quest, turn in the quest, repeat. That's what most of leveling is. You can also do dungeons if you want. As of 735, dungeons aren't really... Are really not the best way to level up. It's a lot faster to do quests nowadays. Um, before 735, uh, dungeons were a lot faster than questing. But... Like I said, nowadays, that is not the case. Um, what changed in 735, for those of you who are um, unaware, was they, uh, well, they changed the entire low-level process um, to scale everything with level. So if we were to open this up here, as you can see, Dumbarrow is 1 through 20. That's how it used to be. I think it was actually 1 through 10. But if you go over to Lock Mob Don, it's now 10 through 60. When it used to be 10 through 20. Wetlands, 20 through 60. When, again, it used to be 20 through 30. Northrend, everything is 60-something through 80. Where it used to be 70-something through 80. Um, Outlands, everything is 60-something through 80. When it used to be 60-something through 70. So they scaled everything except for legion which was already scaled um and they also scaled wad i think so that you can yeah did they scale wad yeah they scaled wad so you can do everything up to level 100 and we're just gonna keep on going Oh yeah, this quest. Not fun. Well, it's alright. It's just, uh... Kind of tedious. Of course, there are a lot more tedious quests in the world. None of which we're going to be doing. But, uh, yeah. Necessity is the first Ready to start the assault. Come on. He has sent Raslo Krushkog to prevent us from rebuilding. This is some unskippable RP here. But our brave friend here has 
thwarted his plans at every turn. And now the dwarves of Ironborn stand with us. Let's send him crawling back to his master in defeat. We're going to slowly charge in. Very slowly charge in. Yep. Very slowly. Very slowly. There we go. There's the music. I like how my footprints show boots, but I'm not wearing any boots. So, again, sometimes you get items for uh, quest that you're going to see appear up here on your right. This one is actually, actually has an aiming reticle, so sometimes when you get... Well, all the times when you get an aimed AoE, you get this green thing. It's the same symbol no matter what, and it just lets you aim an AoE. That's all it is. Like I said, this is a pretty tedious quest. You just uh, spam this AoE to do, like, no damage to him. And you can't hit him otherwise. Because reasons, I guess. And it's not a change with 735. You were never able to hit him. Ever. Eventually. Eventually. Come on. Come on. I'm going to speed up the rest of this. now that this is going to be quite a while a long process so um it's going to be in a weekly or a dailies update that's um that i'm going to say that i'm going to do this probably two three times a week i'm going to upload this two three times a week otherwise we're going to be here through battle for azeroth probably and that would be no good so maybe like monday tuesday friday because wednesday and thursday are already reserved for so yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. That'll be cool. Or I guess Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Alright. This is a long walk, so I'm going to speed it up. But we are finally getting out of Nomergon. Actually, you know what? This video, I believe, is already long enough. So that's going to be it for this one. And when we get back, we are finally leaving Nomergon. So I will see you all in the next video.